show takes place every Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday night. Our next live card coming up tomorrow night, first post time Monday night, 6.30 Eastern time, and there are 14 races on Monday night's program. The Trotters have reached the back stretch, and they are underway. And some speed towards the inside there from uh, Armbro Hall. Tight lines away well also, and tight lines now takes the early lead. Armbro Hall second on the outside, looking for a tuck. Inside, Joyful is third, while Allen Road moves up fourth. Next up, can tab my photo. St. Michelle Hanover is sixth. Then you've got Ardent Complainer and the trailer Keystone Charger. It's a big early edge for tight lines, about three. The field of eight all flat around the turn to the quarter mile marker in 28 and three. One turn down, two to go in this race. Tight lines is on top. First start of the year for this one. He's the heavy favorite at three to five with Jeff Gregory in the bike. Pocket seat for Armbro Hall, also making his 2016 debut. Now Allen Road, who's coming off a second last time out in his debut, comes after the leader first over for Mike Simons. Joyful is fourth on the inside. Two back to Cantab, my photo. Arden Complainer on the wide side, they're sixth. And then St. Michelle Hanover and the trailer Keystone Charger. Allen Road now takes the lead from tight lines at the half-mile marker in 59 even. 30 and 2, second panel. And now it's Allen Road tripping merrily along, leading by 2. See if tight lines can rebound here. He is moving back up slightly on the inside. Armbro Hall about three away from the cover and four and a half off the lead. Then it's Joyful fourth. He heads outside, giving cover to Cantab My Photo. St. Michelle Hanover up the pylon sixth. Further back to Arden Complainer and Keystone Charger. It's Allen Road. The lead down to a link, though, as tight lines gets closer. Three quarters, 128 even, 29 even third panel. Allen Road by a length. Tight lines comes up on his outside now and starts to gain. Further back, Armbro Hall's lost touch with the top two third. On the outside, can't have my photo fourth. Top of the stretch looking like a match race between Allen Road on the inside and tight lines on the outside. Tight lines comes up alongside. Allen Road trying to hold together, but tight lines has a little bit more to give. Jeff Gregory and tight lines for the maiden win by two lengths. Allen Road second, much further back to Joyful third, and can't have my photo fourth. It's tight lines in the nightcap, 157-2. And tight lines going a couple uh, ticks faster than the qualifier that he won on April 20th. Comes back uh, with the retake late and gets past Allen Road for his maiden victory in his first start of the year. Judges have posted the unofficial order of finish for the 15th and final. Number three, tight lines finished first. Number eight, Allen Road finished second. Number one, Joyful finished third. And number five, Can't Have My Photo finished fourth. Unofficially, 3-8-1-5 in the 15th and final. Moving into the Hanover Shoe Farms winner's circle, unofficial winner of tonight's 15th and final race, the three tight lines, a three-year-old Bay Gelding by Yankee Glide out of Ilya by Windsong's Legacy, bred by Spears, Spears, and Spears of Pennsylvania, owned by William Weaver III of Freehold, New Jersey, Jeff Gregory, trainer and driver for tight lines, three to five, a betting favorite race twice as a two-year-old, ended the year with a second in September of 2015.